Hello everyone, this is Sierra Game Scott coming to you from uh, the next edition of my Sierra Game LP series. And as you might be able to tell if you can read uh, DOS code at all or DOS command prompts at all, uh, I have SQ5 punched in, which does mean that we are going to go ahead with Space Quest V, even after all that, um, in my last uh, little uh, soliloquy I put online. Uh, I mentioned that I may not want to do it just because it's involved. Um, and didn't have the time, but you know what? I've been, um, I've pretty much, uh, have no Id other ideas. Well, I got some good ideas from other people, but I think at this time, this is the one I find most interesting, and I already kind of got into it a little bit, so let's just continue on with Roger Wilco and the, uh, f sequel to Space Quest IV, with which we concluded, uh, or something we concluded, uh, a couple months ago now, maybe a little bit more. So, with that, that said, um, let's press enter in the DOS box and bring up the game. And there's the famous Sierra logo, and hopefully the music is coming through uh, with its triumphant sound. So um, that was pretty much the opening to all the VGA point-and-click games uh, during this period. And it doesn't actually go right into the introduction, but we're going to watch the introduction. And as you can see, this is actually not the most uh, graphically intense uh, uh, menu bar or menu box that uh, Sierra has produced. So we're going to... There we go. And actually, these graphics don't look so hot. But I'm not going to tell you about Space Quest V. Let's let Space Quest V, the game itself, give you this introduction as to uh, what occurs after the conclusion of Space Quest IV, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers. And there's our hero, Roger. Roger Wilco, the next mutation. And of course, mutation mutates. Sort of. Ken Williams is, I think, the big cheese at Sierra at this time. And Mark Crow is one of the co creators of the entire Space Quest series. And it gives us a bit more in, by way of um, credits at the beginning of the story, but it will get into this story, and that is why I am playing the introduction. So we'll just try to we'll go through this, and I'll give you a little bit of an update on on things. Uh, but I just want to make sure that we get the introduction done. All right, Captain's Log, SCS Excalibur, Star Date two seven zero nine point sixty seven. Fleet Admiral Roger Wilco commanding. The Excalibur is on a course to investigate the mysterious disappearance of several ships of the uncharted region of space known as the Minuto Triangle. I no doubt have been selected for this mission due to my great achievements as a military leader and matchless diplomatic skills. I go forward with total confidence in my ship and my crew, yet I am vaguely uneasy. I cannot put memories of traveling to the future and meeting my son out of my mind. Each night my dreams are haunted by the image of the woman he said would one day be my wife. I know she's out there, somewhere. But that's not important right now. The fate of trillions rides on the decisions I may have to make in the next several hours. As Captain of the Star Confederacy's proudest flagship, I must follow the supreme guideline. To boldly go where no man has... No, no, no. To bravely traverse where no creature has traveled. Mm, uh, that's not it. Ah, skip it. And here comes Admiral Roger. Admiral, strike ship coming in at point three five. Alert. Probably didn't need to read that, but okay. <laughs> Shields up! Battle stations! Lock weapons! Neutron beams locked! Proton torpedoes armed! Tactical fire neutron beams! Helm hard to port! Cadet Wilco! What in the name of Seven Star Cluster are you doing in the bridge simulator? <laughs> get your sorry carcass out to th there of there and get back to class where you belong, Space Cadet! And if I catch you in there again without permission, I'll have you tossed out of the academy so fast you'll get warp disorientation. Mm -hmm. 
So, as we can see, Roger's ego is uh, greater than his rank. Uh, <laughs> uh, he was just, of course, playing around. He did give us some background information for those of you who may not have watched the Space Quest 4 LP or played it before, um, or for those of you who may have forgotten since it's been uh, quite a while <laughs> since uh, at least I took a look at it. Um, Roger Wilco, the game 4, pardon me, Space Quest 4 ends with uh, Roger Wilco finding out that his son um, is one of the characters in the game and tell and the son tells him about his future wife. Anyway, his illusions of space firing around are cruelly shattered by Captain Quark. Roger Wilco exits from the bridge simulator into the hallways of the Star Confederacy space sorry about that. The last several months have not been easy for our hero, what with having to juggle time between skipping classes, snoozing through lectures, and spending long moments considering the implications of actually opening a textbook. But our fearless former sanitation engineer has stumbled resolutely past these obstacles, pursuing his goal with unwavering determination, blissfully unaware that fate was about to hurl another spitball in his direction. So yes, uh, Ryder Wilco is a uh, cadet in the... whatever they call it. It's not, was it the Starfleet Academy? I don't know. It's obviously a um, spoof on Star Trek. And um, I actually... Despite being a nerd, have have limited knowledge of Star Trek. Actually, uh, I'm sure that is offensive to many, but uh, yes, I don't know that much, so I don't know what it's called. Is it Starfleet Academy? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'll, I won't embarrass myself um, by speculating. Anyway, this is uh, this is the uh, area pretty much that you can walk around in the beginning part, and there's a little few other um, uh, areas off to the side. Or Roger has to go. Now, when I initially filmed this uh, way back when, when I was actually going to try to make it just a uh, seamless continuation to my Space Quest 4 LP, I tried getting into the next scene, and I got very close to finishing things up, uh, but I just couldn't get I, it, the uh, timer, even with the 15 minutes, I couldn't get actually even to a spot where I was comfortable stopping, and ended up uh, ruining my videos a couple times, and that was part of the impetus for why I lost interest. Obviously, I, as I mentioned in my last video, or my update video, uh, that uh, it was also because I just had become busy with other things, so after getting frustrated, I just didn't have um, the desire to continue. So, anyway, I am not going to go. I'm going to leave this as pretty much an introduction video to the game. Uh, if you are one of those people who say, hey, shut up, LP, or I just want to see the game, I don't want to hear you blather, uh, you may want to cut out now. Let me just, before you do so, though, let me uh, give you, at least if you're watching this sort of live or as I upload them, uh, just kind of how, what, how things are going to work. I don't know if I can upload things as quickly as I did beforehand. I think I had uploads every few days when I did SQ4. Um, I taped most of them at one time and just kind of put them up every once in a while just so things wouldn't get too bogged down, give you a little bit something to look forward to so we wouldn't run out of so I could keep the LP going a little bit um, uh, longer. Um, and so I... I'll try to do similar something similar. Similar. I only have I have less time to do these, um, so I don't know if I'll be able to maintain that pace. So be able to have enough videos always available to try to upload every day, every other day, every three days, what ha what have you. Um, but I'll do my best, and um, that's pretty much gonna be the schedule. Um, so it is gonna be like Space Quest Four, but uh, at least in the, on the schedule in terms of scheduling. Um, but I'm not necessarily going to um, be able to maintain that schedule. Uh, anyway, uh, the only other comments I have to make it are that um, we I did choose Space Quest V pretty much just because uh, that was pretty much what I was working on beforehand. I think it's a kind of a neat game. It's a little new to me just because I only played it, like I mentioned in my update, I only played it once um, through beforehand. Uh, and so it's kind of neat for me too. I can kind of re uh, get to see the game again and really for the second time, and so it might make it interesting. I think it's a cool game. I think a lot of the other LPs of uh, Space Quest V has been done, I'm sure, but I don't think as much as some of the other options I might have had. Um, I haven't ignored anybody who did put in suggestions from the update. Uh, definitely will keep those under advisement. Uh, when we are done with this, I will not do Space Quest VI because that's not a DOS game, and those don't work so well for the LPs. So uh, this will probably be the last in the Space Quest series that I'll do at least for a while, and then I'll, maybe I'll take uh, some of your suggestions into account. Um, as for the update video, thanks everyone for f your feedback and for watching it, and um, I don't know if I'll keep it up permanently. Uh, most of it is to explain why I'm not doing Space Quest V, or why I 
been taking time off. Well, I have a new video up pretty quickly right afterwards, and we are doing Space Quest Five. And so, uh, not that I'm that paranoid, but I don't know if I necessarily need to have a video of um, depicting uh, myself. Um, certainly, um, I'm sure all the ladies will be disappointed not to have that uh, <laughs> be able to have that video up to watch. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no ladies actually watch this channel. <laughs> And actually, that's uh, that's not entirely true. When I first started, uh, you can see the YouTube demographics, and I think it was 100% male <laughs> for quite a while. Um, I know YouTube can't record everybody if you're watching it anonymously, if you're not logged in, so we don't, that doesn't know all the demographics. But uh, actually, recently, I think we got about a quarter or so women, so... Um, anyway, I'm sure the women were able to contain themselves. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm uh, just joking about that, of course. But I, I may take it down, I may keep it up. Um, who knows? Um, sometimes people like to see who the person is behind the scenes. Uh, it may not be look like the person you expect uh, when you're listening to the voice. It might not really coincide or correspond to uh, the uh, the image of the person or the, what the person actually looks like. I know I saw that with a couple of LPers and others. It was kind of weird to see the person when you have a kind of form a thought of what they look like in your or what he or she looks like in your mind beforehand. Uh, I don't know if that was the case for me or not, or for some of uh, you guys, what, what you thought it looked like. Um, so maybe I will keep it up, uh, just for people who continue to watch the channel and, and wonder and um, are curious. I'm not incredibly paranoid about it, but I don't know if it's always the best idea to um, leave uh, such personal uh, depictions of yourself or information online. But then again, uh, my personal contact information is available. So uh, with that uh, silliness aside, I guess, um, I'm going to print bring this video to a close, and next time we will actually continue. Uh, <laughs> it says it might be a good idea for you to start thinking about going to class now, Rod. Another thing, too, is I'm going to reset the thing, because um, uh, you can actually be late for class and then fail out, and that's the end of the game. So you only have so much time to play around, and that's why we're going to go right to class when we start, instead of taking a look around uh, at other things. And I just wanted to give some updates. I usually I try not to have long updates into my videos anymore. Uh, just because I think people would prefer me to get right into the game, which I tried to do with the introduction, but since I've been gone for so long, I figured I'd give myself an opportunity to just uh, clue you in on a few things. In any event, let's uh, cut this short, and this is Sierra Game Scott. This is the introduction to Space Quest V. I'll see you in the second video when we actually get into some of the gameplay. Until then, thanks a lot, and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.